we're just leaving um, leaving Camp 1 at the moment. Uh, very, very slow pace up to the coal there where Camp 2 is, uh, about probably 400 metres above us. Uh, everybody's feeling good. It's a nice walk. Marón, marón. Ah. Pero ya hace un año y medio, pues. Qué We can see the Polish glacier, the route when we are cross the col. Right. From camp two, yeah. Yeah. No, but, uh, before I arrived from two. Yeah. So here we are at Camp 2, and we think about 5,450, 5,500 metres. We've just done a carry, and we're stashing a load of equipment up here. The summit of Aconcagua is up in cloud there. Uh, there's a few tents around. And this is looking north. On the horizon there's Mesa Dario, which is about 6,700 metres. Uh, that's Amagino 59, so, so we're kind of on the coal between Amagino and Aconcagua, and we've come up that way from Camp 1, which is 500 metres, and we'll be heading back down there in a minute and have a rest day there tomorrow. about to leave for camp two to actually stay up there. Second so carry and everybody's got a load more kit this time. That's Peter's. Shit bag on that side and rubbish bag on that side. And um Mr. Claire over there is gonna be struggling to lift her. She's got loads of stuff on the outside as well. Go on then. I hope I'm not pretty. No. Good. Oh, that was easy. No problem at all. Good? Yep. All ready to go? Would you go away? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> so, the size of everybody's packs. <laughs> This morning it's bleeding ridiculous. Everybody's got loads and loads of stuff tied on the back. Although Peter seems to be happy enough with his. Hey Mark! <laughs> Let's get the summit! <laughs> You're going all the way today. Yeah. So to camp two today, it takes about four or five hours. But you're actually almost standing still. <laughs> 